Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another exciting game of playing another VR game that is scary. It's called Don't Knock Twice, which luckily, guys, I know what you're thinking. I don't do, because, uh, yeah, I just talked to my friends and say, hey, come out. So we'll see if that works for this villain. I kind of doubt it, knowing the cages and everything and the ominousness of this area that we are in. But so far, the game looks really good. So let's see what happens when we knock twice. This game literally did just come out today, and so kind of excited to see what it's going to bring, and if it's going to bring anything scary. I doubt it. I doubt this is going to be scary. I'm just going to walk my way through it, just making my way downtown, walking fast, you know. Do, 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 do. But point is, this isn't going to be that bad. So, here we go. Ha doesn't really have a ton of reviews yet, so we'll see what happens. Okay, so why, why am I starting here? This, um, oh, this is a tutorial. The loco motion feels weird. Press once to grab from the letterbox. One knock to wake her from her bed. Twice to raise her from the dead. Hmm. Well, you know, one thing I always learned is you never try to wake a woman. You wake a woman and she just gets angry, you know? So, I mean, naturally, we'll just knock twice. Oh, this is very nice. I like it. I like it. It's not going to let me go over there yet. Um, oh. Okay, I'm getting a text. Probably my mama worried about where I am. Because, you know, I'm house-sitting the night. So, I didn't do anything to you. I didn't do anything to you at all. I don't even know why you're mad. I don't even know why you're mad. I don't even know. I don't even know. Let me just, let me just come over here. Let me just come over here and Facebook about it. Ooh, that'll teach you, girl. That'll teach you, girl, to be mad at me. Telling me to leave you alone. That'll teach you. That'll teach you everything. Everything. Man, people are so mad at me for something I didn't even do. I wake up in this house. I wake up in this house. It's a stormy night. They think it's a big deal. I don't think it's a big deal. All I know is Colonel Mustard killed Miss Scarlet with the candlestick in the living room. That's all I know. That's all I know. That's all I came here to know. That's all I figured out. You know, needless to say, that's all that happens. I don't know why I'm doing like a Brooklyn accent anyway. Brooklyn rage. Anyway. Hmm, someone's knocking out a window. Do I dare? Do I dare? I dare. Okay. Because we want the story to progress, right? A birdie. You know, you never can trust birds, but you can trust this window company. A very solid, uh, you know, work right there. Definitely going to be ordering from them again. Uh, the floor people, on the other hand, I think I'm gonna need to pick a different company, a different contractor, because the floors creak even though no one's there. That's just what happens, I guess. Um, let me, let me Facebook about it again. No, no, we don't have time to Facebook about it. Um, power's out. First thing to do is to light all the candles because, uh, that's, that's just, you know, naturally what you do when, when the power's out, right? Naturally. Naturally. That's, that's what I do. That's what my mama taught me to do. So naturally, that's uh, what I do. Hello? Anybody? Sh shut up, girl. I didn't turn off the power. Why are you hating me? You think I'm the problem? No, it's a rainstorm. What do you expect? I almost fell over. Hmm, okay. Let's just light all the candles. I mean, what's the worst that could happen here? You know, I mean, naturally. Oh boy, what are you saying? She dumped me all those years ago, and now she just wants waltzes back into my life and expects me to just carry on. Hmm. Man, ain't no girl gonna walk back into my life like that. Mm-mm. I had enough drama with that. Ain't nothing gonna make me do that again. Mm-mm-mm. All right. Um, creepy hallway, but I really kind of like the layout of this house. It's not open, but it's spacious. You know, it feels good. It feels good. Naturally. Naturally. Hmm, nothing here. I'm assuming these doors are... Yep, those doors are locked. Um, and... Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry, lady. 
My, my bad. Hmm. Do you usually try to trust, you know, the clues that are lighting up? I, I generally don't. Jessica Webb Thomas. Who the crap is that? Wait. Oh, crap. So, I think the plot twist of this story is that in the end, I'm a vampire. And I'm probably dating Bella. And that's the scariest part of this whole game. <laughs> Turns out you're dating Bella. The story of vampires that you ended up hating the most. <laughs> that would be a scary story. Hmm. Hey. <laughs> well, this just looks like the happiest family I've ever seen. Right? Man, that kid's for some reason reminds me of Spanky from Little Rascals. I don't know what it is. You know, if you wanted to just knock and come in, you could have said I would have let you in a long time ago. And now you're just going around breaking stuff. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that at all. Okay, um, let's not catch that paper on fire. Uh, dear Miss Jessica Webb Thomas, please accept this letter as a formal agreement regarding Chloe Ann Webb. Okay, so someone bought this house, probably the girlfriend or me. J. Julie Andrews. Julia Andrews. Isn't she like a famous singer or something? Isn't doesn't isn't she in like The Sound of Music and Princess Diaries? I almost said Vampire Diaries since we're talking about vampires, but you know I don't watch that show at all. No, no, not at all. I mean, Elena, I don't think should you know be with Damon or anything. No, 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 not at all. I don't know what I don't know what any of those stories or episodes are. I'm not caught up. You know, Bonnie's cool. I guess. I mean, if, if I had to say. You know, that is one of the high selling points of this house. The doors close on their own. I mean, naturally, that's a big deal. That's a big deal. Um, so I guess we just go around and we'll... Light up some stuff so we can see better. I think that'll play a big part in the rest of the story. Because that door's locked, of course. Naturally, naturally. Um, ooh, basketball hoop! Man, my friend Seth, he'd be psyched about this. He'd be like, oh, dog, man, I, I'd be playing, I'd be playing some basketball. I'd be shooting some hoops all day up in that VR, man. I'd be dunking, I'd be doing all that. And man, he would. He would. And you don't understand, he's a white guy, and that, that is really how he talks. Few of you actually watching this video know, know that. So anyway, we're gonna juke it over anyway. We're gonna juke it over. We're gonna we're gonna psych him out. You think the ghost is gonna block? No, he's not gonna block. Cause I'm just gonna drop the ball on my own. And shoot! I, 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 shoot! Okay, we're we're done. We're done with that. What is? Oh, hey girl. Hey, hey girl. How are you? How are you? Oh, one second, draw my candle. What? You're going to dump me again, aren't you? No, I'm not. Where did you get that from anything that I said? Are you messing with the electrical again? Girl, mm-mm. You better not. I just got that fixed. On the plus side, though, if the electric ever does go out, we really need to invest in this candle company. I drop it, still lit. I'm just saying, that's freaking epic. I've never I've never seen candles that can do that kind of stuff. You know? <laughs> never. <laughs> Alright, um, of course it's locked. Um, uh, naturally. Uh, is that gate locked? No. Hey, we're locking out. Just open it all the way. Because, I mean, heck, it's going to close on its own anyway, right? You know what I mean? Now, that's why I let the hallway, because now I have nothing to worry about. There's no dark corners. There's just pictures flying off the wall. You know, no, no big deal. <laughs> like Zoe Scoob, this is not good. Hmm. <sighs> that, was a, that was a bad draft. Uh, we're definitely, I mean, like my fantasy draft. I'm sorry, didn't mean to punch that door. Oh, it's a pool. It's a pool. That's why it didn't work. Alright. Am I gonna need a new candle? Is that a candlestick isn't good enough for me anymore? Is that what the problem is? Is there blood? 
man. I told them if they're gonna kill someone that they need to put down a tarp first. Blood is the hardest thing to get out of carpet. And we're just gonna need to replace the whole thing. Naturally. Uh, yep, that's, that's either blood or red wine. Um, and I'm not about to try to find out which. Mm -mm. No, no reason to. Um... Nothing here, nothing here. Okay. What was that? Wait, what? No. Kid, Spanky! You looked so happy a second ago! I mean, you in the hallway, you were a happy kid, and now I guess you're happier, sure, but... Man, that's not a good look for you. Well, I guess, I mean, since we're, it might be around October and stuff, it, it might get better. The struggle with grade two listing buildings. Hmm. I don't know. That was a decent throw. I'm I'm happy with that. You know, sometimes you have a hot problem with throwing stuff in VR, but you know, you throw something in VR, you throw something in real life. That's just fact. I'm just saying.